The air hung heavy, thick with humidity and dread. Hurricane Milton, a Category 4 monster, churned towards St. Petersburg, Florida. The Gulf Coast braced for impact. Evacuation orders were in place. Would this be the big one that locals feared? The Sunshine City held its breath. The storm spiraled closer, a swirling vortex of destruction visible from space. Waves crashed onto beaches, a prelude to the fury brewing offshore. The wind howled, a mournful siren song, St. Petersburg prepared for the worst. Milton slammed into the coast, a devastating blow from Mother Nature. The sheer power of the hurricane was evident as it made landfall, unleashing its fury upon everything in its path. Palm trees bowed low, their fronds ripped away by the wind. The relentless gusts showed no mercy, turning once sturdy trees into mere playthings of the storm. Rain lashed the city, driven sideways with incredible force. It pounded against windows and walls, creating a deafening roar that echoed through the deserted streets. Streets transformed into raging rivers. Cars were submerged and water rushed down city streets, carrying debris and creating a chaotic scene. St. Petersburg, once vibrant and full of life, was now at the mercy of the hurricane. The bustling city had turned into a ghost town, its streets empty and its buildings battered. The storm surge, a wall of water pushed ashore by the hurricane's winds, inundated coastal areas. Waves crashed into buildings, flooding beachside properties and leaving destruction in their wake. Buildings shuddered under the onslaught. The relentless force of the wind and rain tested their foundations, leaving many structures damaged and vulnerable. The power grid, overwhelmed by the storm's fury, flickered and died. Entire neighborhoods were plunged into darkness, their only connection to the outside world severed. St. Petersburg was plunged into darkness, the only light coming from lightning strikes that illuminated the sky like fireworks. The eerie glow revealed the extent of the devastation, a stark reminder of nature's power. Tropicana Field, home of the Tampa Bay Rays, stood as a sentinel against the storm, a fortress of memories and victories. Its iconic white roof, a beacon of the city's skyline, was no match for Milton's fury, a storm that would test the very fabric of the stadium's resilience. The storm's winds, reaching over 150 miles per hour, peeled back sections of the roof, ripping into the stadium's heart, leaving gaping wounds in its structure. Debris swirled inside the stadium, a testament to the storm's power as seats and signs were torn from their places and tossed like toys. Water poured through the gaping holes in the roof, cascading onto the field below, turning the once pristine playing surface into a watery wasteland. The storm surge, relentless in its advance, reached the stadium, flooding the lower levels, submerging locker rooms and concession stands alike. Tropicana Field, once a symbol of pride for St. Petersburg, was now a casualty of Hurricane Milton's wrath, a stark reminder of nature's unyielding power and the fragility of human constructs. Section 4. Safety first, a shelter no more. In the days leading up to the hurricane, officials made the crucial decision not to use Tropicana Field as a storm shelter. The stadium's location in a low-lying area prone to flooding made it too risky. This decision, while difficult, likely saved lives. Only essential personnel remained at the stadium to monitor the situation. They weathered the storm in the stadium's concrete bowels, far from the raging winds and torrential rain. Their courage and dedication ensured that no lives were lost at Tropicana Field. Section 5. St. Petersburg, picking up the pieces. As the storm moved on, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake, the true extent of the damage became clear. Homes were destroyed, businesses flooded, and landmarks like Tropicana Field lay in ruins. The people of St. Petersburg, however, were not defeated. Neighbors helped neighbors, clearing debris, sharing food and water, and offering comfort and support. First responders worked tirelessly, rescuing those trapped by the floodwaters and tending to the injured. The spirit of resilience, deeply ingrained in the community, shone through the darkness. Section 6, Lessons Learned, Preparedness and Community. In this section, we delve into the critical takeaways from Hurricane Milton and how they have shaped our approach to disaster readiness. Hurricane Milton served as a stark reminder of the destructive power of nature. The sheer force of the storm left a trail of devastation in its wake, affecting countless lives. It also underscored the importance of preparedness. 
Heeding evacuation orders, understanding the risks and taking proactive measures can save lives. Having a disaster plan in place, knowing what steps to take and ensuring everyone in the family is aware of the plan and being self-sufficient in the immediate aftermath of a storm can mean the difference between life and death. Stocking up on essential supplies and having a well thought out emergency kit is crucial. But perhaps the most important lesson learned from Hurricane Milton was the strength of community. The bonds formed during times of crisis can be incredibly powerful. In the face of adversity, the people of St. Petersburg came together, showing remarkable solidarity and support for one another. Demonstrating the true meaning of unity and resilience, they rebuilt their lives, their homes and their city with unwavering determination and hope. Proving that even the fiercest storm cannot break the human spirit, the community's efforts stand as a testament to human strength and perseverance.